Hi guys and welcome to U Wrench. Today we're going to be having a quick look at a quick uh, manual test that you can do to see if your thermostat is operational, i.e. it's opening and closing uh, as it should. This is by far the easiest uh, way of doing it. This should be your kind of your first port of call for doing a quick test to see if it's operating. So let's do it. So first thing we need to do is just uh, quickly find the location of your uh, thermostat. It's usually quite easy to do. Uh, this is a Grand Caravan with a 3.6 V6 engine. Uh, and what you want to look for typically is your uh, your top radiator hose. So you can see we've got this larger hose here comes into the top of our radiator. And then usually in a typical setup, if you follow that hose backwards, uh, that will be attached to the end of your uh, thermostat. And your thermostat will be uh, dotted down in there. Uh, let's see if we can uh, spot it. Yeah, it's got a little uh, little cross on the uh, top of it. Uh, yep, yeah, that little thing just you can just see just down there. That I've got my finger on there. Uh, that's your uh, that's your thermostat. So that's the first thing to do is just to identify where your thermostat uh, is located, uh, which should be on a typical setup at the end of your upper radiator hose. So we want to find out whether this thermostat is opening and closing and doing what it should. Uh, so to allow us to do that, we just need a very, very basic understanding of what should be happening uh, in this cooling system. So initially, when you first start the engine and your engine starts to warm up, the thermostat will be closed. What will happen is the uh, coolant that's uh, cycling in around the, uh, it, around the engine, that needs to get to a certain temperature. Uh, because what the thermostat does, it's got a little valve in it and that only opens at a certain temperature. So it allows the uh, coolant to flow around the engine until it gets really, really hot. And when it gets to a point where it's um, going to get too hot, the thermostat will open and that will allow a load of uh, coolant to come back along your top radiator hose, go into the top of the radiator, and then it will cycle through the radiator down to the bottom and, the, and come back in at the bottom of the engine again. So the whole thing goes round in, in a big circle. And obviously as it passes through that radiator, it will cool down so when it goes back in eventually uh, it will have uh, cooled down and the whole thing goes uh, goes around in a big circle so that thermostat initially when that engine uh, starts running uh, will remain closed until the engine gets nice and hot well uh, to be more precise until the uh, coolant inside the uh, engine gets uh, nice and hot then that thermostat will open to allow it to uh, to escape so the most basic test you can do is to start the engine on your car and just keep your hand on your upper radiator hose and what you're feeling for is to see if it starts to uh, to get hot uh, because what will happen if it's uh, if your thermostat is broken it can it can it can be uh, broken in either the closed position or the open position now if it's uh, in the closed position then uh, this will never get hot because it will never release the coolant and you, you may well have an overheating uh, issue in, uh, on the engine uh, if it is um, broken uh, open then it won't be releasing it when it gets to a certain temperature so it will be releasing it straight away so it takes a few minutes uh, obviously you need to get this up to full operating temperature you can keep an eye on your um, on your uh, gauge on your dashboard uh, but the, your thermostat's not going to open for a little while so you want that engine running you just want to keep uh, obviously be careful of your fan you've got your main fan in there don't stick your fingers in there you want to keep a hand on this remember your engine will start to get warm uh, so you don't want to kind of um, mistake the uh, the the warmth coming off the engine as being the warmth in this pipe. When it when it's uh, operating properly, what will happen is your engine will start to get warm. It'll, it'll heat up to a certain uh, point, and then all of a sudden that thermostat will pop open, and you'll get a rush. It'll go from being, you know, virtually virtually cold, just a, a bit of the um, warmth uh, kind of off off of the engine, but basically cold, to being uh, red hot and you know it's literally uh, as quick as that now that's what should be happening so if you do that you start your en start your engine leave it running for five minutes keep your hand on here wait for it to happen and then all of a sudden that gets really really hot and you know it should be almost to the point where it's kind of almost uncomfortable to touch it it will get that hot so it will go from one extreme to the other then that is the sign that your thermostat is uh, working correctly if however what you're finding is as your uh, engines uh, getting warmer this is starting to warm up alongside your engine that means that your thermostat could be broken in the open position and this is just uh, flowing through uh, in a cycle so whatever the warmth is in the engine will be the same uh, in this pipe here because it will just be coming straight through the uh, the thermostat so you won't get that sudden rush it won't go from cold to hot it'll just get warmer and warmer and warmer and warmer 
warmer along with the engine rather than that sudden rush uh, so that would be uh, indicative of your uh, thermostat being uh, broken uh, or non-operational in the open position and finally uh, if your thermostat is uh, broken and is in a closed position then it's never going to release the uh, coolant uh, through into this top radiator hose so your engine will get up to full operating temperature you'll be sat here waiting for it to happen and you won't get that sudden rush of um, hot uh, um, coolant uh, coming through this pipe so you'll be sat there and basically nothing will happen and what will happen in that instance is if the uh, coolant that's in the engine can't cycle it by putting it back through into the radiator then the engine will um, overheat and so you could have a, obviously an overheating uh, issue and your temperature gauge will, will uh, indicate that on the uh, dashboard. So those are kind of your, your three basic options with your thermostat but what you want to do a good uh, normal operating thermostat should go from cold you get that sudden rush and then hot that's your ideal scenario but we've covered the other two as well so hopefully that should give you an idea of uh, whether or not your thermostat is operating correctly. So if this video has been helpful for you, could we ask a quick favour before you leave? Could you hit that uh, like button for us? And if you could hit subscribe, it would really, really be appreciated. We have lots more great content on our YouTube channel. Please be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you again.